Hey everyone, and welcome to the part 2 of the Fire Alarm Control Panel series. In today's episode, I'm going to be installing battery backup. So, I've already prepped for installing battery backup. You can see I put the Allen wrench and the spare key on a little magnet to prevent it taking up space down here. As well as, I put on these little battery connectors on the panel battery connector directly on there. As well as I made this little jumper wire to basically make it so that the batteries will be wired in series. You cannot wire these in parallel, I figured out, because they wouldn't be the correct voltage. I ordered two 12 volt 7 amp hour batteries, um, sealed lead acid batteries. I have printed out these labels here, the month and year of the um, batteries. Actually, I also put the date that this panel is installed. You should do this with a lot of your batteries in uh, sm smoke detectors. That's a good thing to do it with. These emergency lights I did the same thing with. <laughs> emergency lights. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when these batteries arrive. All right, everyone, our batteries have arrived. So this is two 12 volt, seven amp hour sealed lead acid batteries. It should be in this box. Here, just gonna, you know, don't wanna get doxxed. Oh, wow, look at that, look at how, wow. Really impressive packaging they put this in. This is a pretty heavy little package. I believe these two batteries weigh about eight pounds. And oh, I just pressed my keyboard and made my computer freak out. Here it is. Non-spillable sealed lead acid battery, 12 volts, 7 amp hours. These are made for gate openers, but these will work with the fire alarm panel. There's little, some little guards over the terminals. That's pretty smart. So, you know, I'm going to go lick in it. And another one of the same thing. All right, let's go install this in the panel. Alrighty. So what I did is I bent the little battery connector, the connector on the battery, up a little. Now, there's a battery jumper making that 24 volts. So next thing I'm going to do is connect these up. There we go. Alright, now let's plug this into the panel, let's see what it does. Now it should be charging, so I'm going to tuck this cord in. There we go. Now we have battery backup on the fire alarm panel. So I'm going to go um, let this charge. The wall is holding this really well, which is saying something because our drywall is pretty crappy here. But the batteries have been plugged in for around 30 minutes now. I'm just going to do a little check. So that's reading... 36, that's normal temperature. This seems really hot when I touch. I don't know what this does. I think this might be something with charging. 50 Celsius. I don't know what these are. I think they might have something to do. They click a little up close. I don't know what the hell a MOSFET is. I don't know anything about this. The battery is normal temperature. Let's put this in um, Fahrenheit. I'm going to get this again in Fahrenheit. Oh, pfft. Yeah, that's... No wonder if I burn myself on that a little actual thing itself is 105, 95. Okay, so that just means it's doing its job. That's okay, that's what it's supposed to be. Transformer is at 87. That's normal temperature. For example, let's, take, let's get my computer here. I think this will work. Let's see, that's in, put that in Celsius. See, that's normal temperature. All right, we're gonna see, I'm not gonna test it in today's video. Maybe in a future system test. Now, we're running on battery backup. As you can see, there's no more AC power light. 
So now the batteries are getting worn down a little. So that's what battery backup will allow us to do. You heard, I don't know if you heard the relays click off. So that was a demonstration of what the battery backup actually did. I'm now going to explain that click you heard when I plugged the panel back into the wall, when I unplugged the panel from the wall, as well as when I plugged in the battery connector. So you might notice that there's a set of three terminals. You don't see three terminals very often in electrical, but we have trouble and alarm, and both of them have C, which is closed, NC, normally closed, and NO, normally open. This is basically the same thing, except it's labeled differently. So these little black boxes, I follow the traces. So this, these three are for trouble. These three are for alarm. I don't know exactly where they come from. There's some blank pads, which would normally go to the supervisory. So that's what you heard, the um, trouble relay clicking on and off. As well as, I'll put in a clip of when this panel was activated, you could actually hear the alarm relay click. I don't know what's up with me and not recording proper outros to these videos, but, well, I did it again, so, um, bye!